Well, today is Monday Thursday, this day that we celebrate and remember Jesus's last supper with his disciples when he gave them the command to love one another and to serve one another. We're looking forward to celebrating that tonight at seven o'clock. It's BYOC, bring your own communion. And tomorrow night with Good Friday as well, bring your own candle. We're looking forward to being together in those ways. So I wanna share a verse that I love from Isaiah 52. And it's another one of those verses that is just layered and rich with meaning. It was a word of hope for the people of Israel, for the people of Jerusalem, that a messenger came over the hills declaring that their captivity with Babylon had ended, that they were people now of freedom. It was a word of good news. And ultimately, it's a word about Jesus announcing the kingdom of God, announcing freedom from captivity, from sin and death. So listen to this word from Isaiah 52. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. This is a word of the gospel. This is a word of Easter. This is a word of Holy Week. It's what we celebrate. That because of Jesus, because of his death and resurrection, we are people who can proclaim peace. And not just peace from captivity from another nation, but peace with God. That we have peace with God. That no matter what, that we can declare that we have received salvation and that our God reigns. One of the things that I love about this passage is it's often used for God's people, people who proclaim the good news of Jesus, that we also would have beautiful feet, that we would proclaim the good news, that we can have peace with God because of Jesus. So may it be so for us, church. May this be a word of hope for you this Holy Week. See you tonight. How beautiful.